Matt Savage here with Jason Heidenthal, the tournament director here at Seminole Hard Rock Casino. Now, Jason, this is your first full year back here at Seminole Hard Rock. What brought you back to South Florida? The wonderful sunshine down here in South Florida and being my hometown, it is an honor to be back here. Uh, spent some time up in Maryland, but uh, I've always wanted to come back to Florida and I uh, had a wonderful opportunity to come work for Bill Mason here at the Seminole Hard Rock and uh, I'm stoked. Bill Mason, you mentioned that name. He is the engine behind this. He is the Director of Poker Operations here at Stonewall Hard Rock. And can you tell me a little bit about some of the things that he's done to bring poker back to South Florida? The things Bill Mason has done here on property over there, his reign, he is the true brainchild around all the operations here for poker. Um, 10 plus years with WPT, uh, being a proud host of all these events here on property. Uh, it's just, it's, it's unbelievable the, uh, what he's done for poker. And uh, not just South Florida, but just in and for poker as a whole. Definitely a industry leader. Now you guys smashed this guarantee before you even said shuffle up and deal. I mean, it has to be great uh, to see all of these players coming down here to South Florida for this World Poker Tour event. What are your ex expectations for the main event and how do you feel about it so far? We are absolutely blown away by the numbers. Uh, it was great to see that $1 million guarantee mark uh, already surpassed before the shuffle up and deal today. Um, it's just, it's amazing that we could be the host uh, of the return to poker, if you would, uh, with this pandemic. Um, and just so, so happy to be able to offer a product here in this safe and sound environment. Can you tell us about some of the protocols that are in place to ensure that we have a safe and sound environment? We had 60 tables initially, uh, all fitted with glass, uh, playing eight-handed um, throughout this room. A great, safe environment tables, socially distanced, uh, our registration line, socially distanced. Uh, one of the highlights of this event that we've had lots of compliments on is the staggered breaks that we implemented for some of our larger fields, such as our opening event and also our main event today, uh, breaking them into thirds for our breaks, so that way our concessions, our bathrooms, everything else outside, again, is following under the, the safe and sound protocols and uh, all of us being safe in this environment. Jason, I've traveled all over the world, I've been to many different venues, and I tell you, every single time I come down to South Florida, you, Bill Mason, and the entire team here, the dealers and staff, have just done such a great job, and I know that the players really enjoy it. Can you tell us a little bit more about how that process takes place? Uh, we have our normal dealers that travel to this stop and enjoy coming to this stop. Uh, this being the first uh, event back, if you would, uh, they were thoroughly thrilled when we reached out to them and we told them that we were hosting this event, our Lucky Hearts event here in January, and uh, they signed up and they came out and I, this whole environment could not be done without our, uh, our dealers and our supervisors that made the trip for this event. So uh, it's a humongous thank you to them and uh, me and Bill are both honored to be able to host this environment and get them back to work. Well, congratulations once again. I know you guys are knocking it out of the park here for the WPT Lucky Hearts Poker Open.